as a driver and a business owner, um, <clears throat> what I have found is most important to success is goals. Um, <clears throat> my goal was always to own a trucking company. That's never changed. Uh, so it's what I spent the last 30 plus years doing. <clears throat> but everyone has different goals. So <clears throat> as a driver, the most important thing business-wise in life is deciding what is important to you. <clears throat> the first decision you've got to make is is driving or family more important? Um, most true owner operators and successful lease purchase operators, <clears throat> they put driving, they put their career first. So <clears throat> if you're on the fence or if you already know that family home time is first, uh, you are probably best off sticking with a company position. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with a company position that is much better plan than trying something your heart's not in. Now, if you're like if you're like me and have always put business in front of everything else and you are currently a company driver, uh, you, you're most likely going to be happier as a lease purchase operator because you have a little more <clears throat> risk and a lot more reward for some people for myself included the ultimate goal is to own your own truck and trailer and have your own authority now if that's your goal absolutely go for it because nothing else is going to satisfy you but often you have to take that in steps so if you're currently a company driver, don't have money for a truck and a trailer and insurance, then the next step for a lot of people is to be a lease purchase operator, which you might do that for two years, five years, 10 years, until you decide to completely go out on your own. We've made some exciting changes at Hurricane recently, we've uh, we've added the 567 Ultra Loft as an option. Um, that complements our 579 Ultra Lofts and our 389 standard wheelbase and our 333 with the stainless steel. This pretty much gives every driver that wants to work with us um, their exact dream truck. With the addition of the 567, I've had several drivers that uh, really wanted to drive a 389, and then once they got into it, they realized that uh, a 389 is a lot smaller in the cab, it's a lot smaller in the sleeper, uh, it's not quite as easy to get around in <clears throat> as a 579 and uh, that group of drivers lobbied pretty hard and uh, convinced me to try a group of the, uh, five seven, <clears throat> the 567 and uh, in about a month we'll <clears throat> put the first 567 on the road and then just continue putting them on the road until uh, every driver that wants one has one. <clears throat>